may look like a simple bridge with happy children. Hey, we get <laughs> but for the people of Tampa League, this bridge is a lifesaver. That's because the river looks peaceful and benign. But when rains come, the waters are impassable, so dangerous that children are swept away trying to get to school. Because the river kept the residents of Tampa League isolated, more than a dozen Virginia Tech students designed a bridge, check, check. raised money to pay local Haitians to build it, and took several work trips to oversee construction and pitch in. We, we, we weren't the ones building this bridge. We designed it, we were consulting. The Haitians really take ownership of this project, and that's really the beauty of it because that's, that's what it takes. Recently, the students offered a mock-up of the bridge and explained the mechanics of the project. We added uh, two walls, one in this direction and one going in this direction. We thickened the slab here between the tiers. We added reinforcing, and we added columns on the corners with reinforcing that came up and tied into the slab. Once the bridge was done, the residents of Tapa League celebrated, sharing their happiness with the Virginia Tech community. And what did the experience mean to the students? Nick Mason, who managed the project, took a moment while in Haiti to reflect. I feel like, as an engineer, um, I'm privileged with my education, and it's a gift from God that He's given me, and I want to give. I want to use that as a gift to other people, and I want to. Um, I guess it's a blessing, and I want to bless other people with it. Matt Capelli felt the same way about his experience, as he admitted to the audience before this project. He actually played video games in class. Now he takes life more seriously. You, when you take part in a project where you're bridging an obstacle and bridging a gap and things like that and you're serving others with that there really is a gap in your own heart that's bridged to something more and it became for me a de degree became a blessing and it became something that I should use to give back and serve others with um, and that change changed everything <laughs> for me. To complete the project students established a local chapter of Bridges to Prosperity in Blacksburg, Rotarians were so impressed that they gave the group a $100,000 grant to build more bridges in Haiti, and the students already have plans. And that's, that's why we invited you all here tonight. We really believe in this model. Uh, we really believe in this idea of leveraging what we've been, giving, uh, been given and through this university, um, just kind of innately as Americans, and we want to give back. Faculty members were touched as well. I have to say that this experience of working with these particular students has been the most powerful, meaningful thing that I've been able to do in the university setting. I have learned uh, so much from these young men and women, and it's been a tremendous blessing uh, simply to, to be present, to watch how each of them has realized these aspirations that are really uh, tremendous aspirations for anyone's life. They have the potential from this example to teach all of us about uh, what the university can accomplish. To see Chris Cook's video of students in Haiti working on the bridge, go to www.outreach.vt.edu forward slash videos. For Outreach and International Affairs, this is Andrea Brunet reporting. Oh, God, God.